Hey guys, and welcome back to the Family Fudge. Right now, I'm getting the kids loaded up in the car and we're headed to Costco. We're doing a big grocery haul today, so come along with us. The Family Fudge, the Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet, but full of nuts. So for today's haul, I'm focusing on items for lunches. I have some lunches I need to make, but then we're also getting things to go out of town. We're headed to Florida, to Georgia, and to Tennessee pretty soon. So we're gonna pick up everything we need for that, which pretty much means lots of snacks for the plane. We made it to Costco! Okay guys. You remember the rules, right? Who remembers yeah. the rules from last time? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no being weird, no stealing stuff. Okay, these guys forgot one rule. If you know what rule they forgot, let us know in the comments down below. Let us know in the comments down below. Hey. Best baby ever! <laughs> Let's go. I am loving all the Christmas decor. We don't really put a lot of decor on the outside of our house. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys do a lot of decorations or if you don't do very many at all, you kind of keep it simple. And every year I always admire the wreaths at Costco. I think this is beautiful. I love the sparkle in this. And this size is only $29.99. And check out these beautiful glass ornaments, you guys. Look at the detail on that. They have silver, gold. Looks like the only two kinds, but I can't quite tell how much it costs. The sign's way over there. These probably wouldn't do very well in my house since they're glass, but I do think that they are beautiful. These ones are also really pretty. I love the silver and gold ones, but my favorite are probably the red and green. Check those out. Now these say that they're shatterproof, so those might be okay. But I'm not Christmas shopping today. Maybe next time. I also think that this lantern is gorgeous. It's a decorative lantern. It comes with all of the little things on top. It's $49.99, it's kind of pricey. Okay, enough with the Christmas. It's time to get our groceries and head on out. Oh, I found them! Hi. Do you find toys? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do they have new toys? Mickey Mouse, Mickey! Ooh, a Mickey ride on. Guess what? A robot. Really? Look at this balance bike. You found fingerlings. I love fingerlings, you guys. I'm not even kidding. These are the cutest toys. And this one's really cool because it comes with a little jungle gym. Yeah. And it's marked down, only $19.99. Oh, and the star means they're not gonna have any more. Oh, they have the big bears again. I love these at the holidays. This one is $29.99, and we actually have one at our house. They are cute, but they do take up a lot of space. Bye, you have to stay here. Okay, friends, it is much, much later now, and I'm finally ready to show you everything that we picked up today. We ended up going to my three favorite stores. You probably know what they are already. That's right, Costco, Trader Joe's, and Walmart. And this haul is pretty different. You're gonna see a lot of snacks here, and those are for our upcoming trip to Florida, Georgia, and Tennessee. You also see lots of things for lunches, some themed lunches. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. I'll show you the things from Costco first. So from Costco, I'm gonna start back here with the lentils. I love these lentils. They are meat-free and gluten-free and they're so quick and easy and I love to get them when they're on sale, which they are on sale right now. I also got some of these teriyaki pineapple meatballs. Those are great for a quick dinner. Miss Lily asked me if I could get these. These are peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. I've never purchased these at Costco before, but I get them at, at Trader Joe's normally and we like those. So hopefully these are just as good. We are gonna be doing a lot of walking on our trip. So my husband picked up two different kinds of socks for himself, some Florida weather socks and some Tennessee, Georgia weather socks. At least that's what we're thinking. Miss Lily also asked if we could get some baby spinach. She's a big fan of spinach salad. So I'm planning that whatever we have left over when it's time to go out of town, we'll just stick it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer and then we can add it to smoothies when we get back. We also picked up some eggs. We've been doing a lot of hard boiled eggs for quick uh, snacks around here, so we'll probably go through these before we head out of town. We got a rotisserie chicken for tonight's dinner. I love to do that. When I get my Costco groceries, I also pick up a chicken, so when I get home, there's something quick and easy. 
And speaking of quick and easy, I picked up another package of the fully cooked bacon. I first heard from I first heard of this from my friend Kimmy at She's in Her Apron, and I love it. It's about nine dollars, so it's a little bit more expensive, but it saves so much time. And I can just take one or two and throw it into a sandwich or a wrap or on top of a salad. It's really tasty. I also picked up a big thing of raspberries. I pretty much only buy raspberries when they're on sale and when they look really good. And these were definitely looking good. And Miss Lily, again, she was asking for a lot of stuff at the store. She must have been hungry when we were shopping. So I said, sure, we can, we can go through these and whatever we don't go through, we'll stick in the freezer and it'll be totally fine. We also picked up lots of beef jerky to take on our trip. This is a quick snack that just about everyone enjoys. So we got two bags of the regular steak strips. These ones are great because they're gluten free so my husband can have them as well. And then we got this other kind to try. These ones are probably a little bit more spicy so the kids will like these and the adults will like these. This is the Hatch Green Chili flavored beef jerky. Way back over here, Miss Lily again, she asked if we could get some chocolate chip muffins. She loves these. We got these a few weeks ago and we just finally ran out because what I what I do is I stick them in the freezer and we just pull out one or two at a time because my husband and I are trying not to eat, you know, stuff like that. So it's really just for the kids on occasion. From Costco, I also picked up a big thing of mayo. This is gonna last us a long time. We don't go through it super quick, but I like to buy it at Costco because it's a good deal cheaper. We got some Kerrygold butter, three cucumbers, and surprisingly, I think that's everything from Costco. Not the biggest Costco trip, but then we went to some other stores. So next I went to Trader Joe's. I got lots of um, meat-free things to try, lots of snacks. I'll go ahead and start with this guy back here. And I'm sorry, you guys, I do not know how to pronounce this correctly. I think it's called marzipan stolen. Stolen? You guys will have to let me know. Um, this is going to be for an upcoming Christmas um, lunch I'm planning on making, so stay tuned for that. I also picked up some vegan oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. I've never tried these before, but how bad can they be, right? They've got chocolate and it's a cookie, so those look like a special treat. I also got some sparkling water. I love the grapefruit flavor, but they're all pretty good. I also got these really interesting chips. These are the turkey and stuffing flavored kettle chips. So yeah, perfect for around Thanksgiving. I also picked up a bag of these corn snacks. We've never tried these before. It's like a it's like a corn nut, I guess. I used to eat those a lot when I was a teenager, so these are kind of like a healthier alternative. And then we have these guys. These are mochi rice nuggets. Now I'm a huge fan of traditional Japanese style mochi and I've even made it myself when I was uh, living in Japan, but I've never tried these but they look really interesting. So it's like a crispy mochi rice cracker. I also picked up some oatmeal. This is the gluten-free kind, so everyone in the family can enjoy it. We got some pumpkin cereal bars. These are so, so good. Trader Joe's has lots of different flavors. I like the fig, the kids like the strawberry, but the pumpkin is perfect for this time of year. And speaking of pumpkin, I also got some of the pancake and waffle mix and some very special maple leaf cookies. Now when I'm going through the food, you'll probably tell what my lunch themes are going to be coming up. So yes, some maple cookies, we got some cornbread, cornbread stuffing mix. Um, sometimes I'll make my cornbread stuffing mix from scratch and I'll go ahead and make it gluten-free, but I thought I would just take a shortcut this time. I also got these really interesting rolls. These are holiday herb rolls. So they're sage and marjoram, thyme, parsley, and rosemary. These look so tasty for Thanksgiving. I also picked up some whole wheat pita bread. Now this is the kind of pita bread that you can actually open and like fill. So I'm gonna try to do that for a lunch coming up in the near future. I got some cranberry sauce. I love this from Trader Joe's. And I especially love that it has a lid so you don't have to open it and just have like an open can because I'm pretty much the only one that likes cranberry sauce. So I just take a little bit at a time and stick it in the fridge. I mostly like to put this on sandwiches, like turkey sandwiches. It's really good. And also for pumpkin, I got two cans of actual pumpkin puree to go into some muffins I'll be making. Moving back over here, I got these from Trader Joe's. Never tried these before. These are an app. These are a raisin walnut apple bar. So it's kind of like 
I don't know, a bread or like a breakfast bread. I'm hoping to serve this with some of this vegan cream cheese. Never tried it before, hopefully it will be good. And I also got some uh, dairy-free yogurt to try. This is the coconut milk yogurt in the blueberry flavor. I'm not sure how I'll like them, so I just picked up two this time. And then I also got three of these, but you know what, I should have picked up four. These are the apple strawberry fruit leather, so kids love these and they're perfect for throwing into lunches. Also from Trader Joe's, I picked up a package of these pomegranate seeds. Jackson and Lily love these. Like, Jackson would probably eat this whole thing by himself if I let him. Moving over here, I also picked up two packages of the mandarin orange chicken. This is a Trader Joe's staple in our house, and I actually like to make this in the air fryer so it gets it nice and crispy, but I'm not really frying it, so it's not as bad. To go along with this, I also got some vegetable fried rice, and then we have the meatballs. First, I picked up some meatless meatballs, and then I also got these seasonal turkey cranberry meatballs. I have not tried either one, but they sound pretty good, so I'm excited to give those a try. And then last but not least, from Trader Joe's, I also got some lightly salted edamame. This is actually frozen, and I like doing that so I can just take out what I need, defrost that, and keep the rest in the freezer for another time. Now moving on to the things from Walmart. It's kind of all mixed in here, so hopefully I won't forget anything. I'll go ahead and start with these adorable jammies. I picked these up for Griffin. He's outgrown all of his jammies, and so these are just so cute. Perfect for our upcoming trip. I just wish I could find these in bigger sizes for all the kids. I love the kids to do matching jammies on Christmas. Let me know if you do that too. Also from Walmart, I picked up three of these Chobani Flip yogurts. This is the Pumpkin Harvest Crisp. That sounds really good for some fun lunches. And then I also got some regular yogurt. I'm hoping to make some yogurt parfaits with some of those yummy raspberries over there and some granola. It's gonna be so tasty. Then I also got some of these pumpkin fig bars. We like these fig bars, but I haven't tried the pumpkin flavor, so hopefully it'll be good. I also got some of these protein bars for the kids. We're gonna be going on an airplane that's gonna be kinda long, so I'm thinking I'll bring these, and a lot of these other snacks will all be for the airplane. We got some of the chewy chocolate granola bars. We got some of these Annie's fruit peels. This is kind of like a fruit by the foot. The kids really like these. Definitely a once in a while treat. And then way back there, some Donald Duck orange juice. Miss Lily, again, was just asking for lots of foods. She tends to be a picky eater, so when there's things that she requests, I try to get those. Moving over here, I got two different bags of goldfish crackers. We got some Mickey ones, those are going on our trip and some Christmas ones for some special lunches in the future. I got some apple chips, those are so tasty. I picked up one box of spice cake mix. Those are gonna go into some pumpkin muffins. I got some tortillas for wraps and quesadillas this week. Uh-oh, this guy, he is for, <laughs> this guy was from Trader Joe's and he was hanging out over here. This is a meat-free veggie burger. I'm excited to give that a try. We'll see how it is. Now back to the things from Walmart. I got this big box of Cheerios in the maple flavor. This is new, we haven't tried this before. Lots of new things to try in this grocery haul. Let me know if you've tried these. Um, I probably won't get into these this week or next week because I already have several boxes of cereal open and I wanna use those up first. Moving back over here, I picked up some diced pears and some diced mangoes. The kids like these. I usually will drain the juice um, out before I serve it to them. We got some pineapple chunks, some bananas, and then these guys. I love tomato soup in general, but if there's Mickey on the can, I'm gonna buy like three of them because it's just so cute and I love it. This will be so tasty, ooh, so tasty with a grilled cheese on a cold day. Moving right along, I also picked up some uncured salami. This will be for lunches this week. And then I think everything else is like travel stuff. So I've got some travel bottles. I'll put some conditioner in there and things like that. I got myself a travel razor. We got some new travel toothbrushes. And then I never travel without these guys anymore. Some Tylenol extra strength, that's usually for me. I tend to get headache when I'm traveling. And then I also love having a Tide to go pen. It really does save some stains. 
This has really saved a lot of outfits over the years for us. Keeping with our Mickey theme, I got some of these cleansing wipes. These kill germs and they're great for wiping down tables or benches. I got lots of hair care products, so many that I can't even hold them in one hand. <laughs> two mini bottles of gel and two mini bottles of hairspray. We're gonna be gone for quite a while. I'll and I have a lot of hair to fix, so I got those. I also picked up some travel contact solution and some Mickey band-aids. We almost always need these when we travel. And I just love the Mickey ones, they're so cute. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.